the news hour with Tony Parsons. Good evening. A young man is clinging to life tonight in hospital in the B.C. interior, and he has a remarkable story of survival to tell. The pickup truck that he was riding in took a deadly plunge off Highway 31 near the community of Balfour, northeast of Nelson. It came to rest in a creek hundreds of feet down a steep ravine. Two of the men inside were killed, and the third, hurt but alive, waited up to 40 hours before help arrived. The graffiti appeared after an earlier crash months ago, but it didn't work. This curve is well known in the area. It's well indicated as a 30 kilometer curve. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's basically a 90 degree turn going down a hill. In what's believed to have been the early hours of Monday, a northbound pickup truck missed the sharp curve on Highway 31, north of Nelson, apparently jumped the concrete barrier and plummeted more than 600 feet to Coffee Creek below. So what made you uh, see it? Uh, the fact that the guardrail was broken. Usually it's just uh, marks on the guardrail, which they bounce around and keep going around the corner. For possibly up to 40 hours or more, the male driver and his two male passengers had lain in the debris of the vehicle, at least one of them still alive, but unnoticed from the road above until tires came along. So what did you see down in the, uh, could you see anything? Not really, could just see some de debris, uh, enough to realize there was a vehicle over the bank. When emergency officials who included the Caslow Search and Rescue Team and Balfour Fire Department made it down to the crash site, they found the driver and one passenger dead, but the other passenger still alive. It's obvious that uh, the vehicle wasn't able to make the, the turn, possibly because it was going too quick, went over the embankment. Pretty lucky for this fellow to survive? It's incredible. It's just, uh, to me, it's a miracle that this individual uh, survived that, uh, that accident. In daytime, the true horror of what had happened to the three men, two in their 20s and one 30, all from nearby Meadow Creek, literally came to light, as what used to be a Dodge extended cab was retrieved from the creek. The surviving passenger was rushed to hospital in trail. The identities of the three accident victims have not yet been released.